Hello class, today we're going over lesson 7.3, how to apply the Pythagorean theorem to solve problems. So let's start it off with our goal today. Today we're going to figure out how to use the Pythagorean theorem in the real world. We will solve problems with it that can be found in everyday life. So basically instead of just the you know stereotypical random right triangle, we're actually going to be seeing how these can apply to real day life and you can actually use them yourself. All right, so let's start with our first example here. No definitions today. We're going right to the examples. So you have to push this box up a slope. How far will you have to push it? So this is basically the pretty easiest and uh, most straightforward real world problem we can do here. We have ourselves obviously a right triangle. You can see that because we got the little corner over here. Now, it looks like we have side length A is equal to 6 and B is equal to 16. And as you can clearly see here, we don't know what C is. So this is going to be just straightforward for us, plugging into our formula right here. As always, the Pythagorean theorem tells us that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So we're always going to start our problem by writing down that formula. So for a, we can plug in 6. So now we have a 6 squared. For b, we could plug in 16, which gives us a 16 squared. And for c squared, we still don't know that yet. So that's going to remain c squared. Alrighty, so 16, or excuse me, 6 squared is going to give us 36. So right here we have 36. 16 squared will give us 256. And that's still going to be equal to C squared. Now we've got to add together 36 and 256. So 36 plus 256 will give us 292. All right, now we don't know, want to know what c squared is. We want to know what c is. So that means we're going to have to take the square root of 292. Take the square root of both sides here. And the square root of 292 will give us approximately 17.1. And that will be equal to c. So this distance right here would be 17.1. And then feet, since I guess we're in the, using units here. So if you have to push a box up this slope here, how far are you going to have to push it? We're going to have to push it 17.1 feet. And we are able to find that using the Pythagorean theorem here. All righty, hopefully you got this all written down. If not, pause the video here. I'm going to go on to the next one. So you are locked out of your house and the only open window is on the second floor, 20 feet above the ground. You need to borrow a ladder from one of your neighbors. There's a bush along the edge of the house, so you have to place the ladder 15 feet from the house. What length of the ladder do you need to reach the window? All right here. So let's just draw ourselves a little picture on, right? So it tells us that this window here, this distance right here is 20 feet, right? 20 feet because it says we're 20 feet above the ground. Now it also tells us we're going to have to place a ladder 15 feet from the house, right? So if we go over this way here, this would be 15 feet. Now we got to lay a ladder down like this here. And we want to know how much of the ladder length do we need. So if you look at this right here, based on the way the house is constructed, this would automatically make a right angle, right? Because the window is just straight up and down here. Now, uh, let's see what our units are, or excuse me, what our side lengths are going to be here. So it looks like we have side length A is equal to 20, B is equal to 15, and C is equal to, we don't know yet, we're going to have to find it. All right, so as always, we're going to start off by writing down our formula. Don't forget to write down the formula, guys. I know it seems like a step you could skip, but it will always help for you to write it down. So we have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So we said a is 20, so we'll plug in 20 right here. b is 15, we'll plug in 20 for b. And again, we don't know c squared yet. All righty, so 20 squared is going to be 400. So we get 400 plus 15 squared will give us 225, and that'll be equal to c squared. All right, adding these two together here, 400 plus 225, that's going to give me a 625, which is equal to c squared. And now, what do we have to do, class? Think, do we want to know what c squared is equal to? No, we want to know what c is equal to, right? So that means we're going to have to take the square root of 625, and that will give us, I believe, 25 here. Yep, square root of 625 will give us 25 is equal to C. So that means our ladder right here is going to have to be 25 feet, or C is going to be equal to 25 right here. 
Alrighty, so again, these are some real world problems for us. We're going to keep going. If you need to finish writing this down here, don't be afraid to pause that video. Alright, so next one here. It is 90 feet between the bases in baseball. How far is it from home to second? So we want to find the distance out of this red line here. Let's do this in blue here. All right, so if we're kind of like dot, making dotted lines here to connect them, we want to connect our distance from home base to first base and then from first base to second base. So hopefully you guys can see it kind of looks like we got a right triangle here, right? When you're rounding the bases to go from uh, home base to first base to second base, you would make a right angle. Now it tells us that there's 90 feet between the bases in baseball. Obviously, it means as you go in progression, right? From home to first, first to second, second to third, and third to home. All of these distances here are going to be 90 feet. Now, we want to find how far is it from home base to second base. Obviously, this isn't 90 feet right here. It's a little longer. So we want to find this length right here. All right, so it doesn't really matter on our A's and B's here because they're exactly the same. So we have A and B both equal to 90 feet. And now we want to go ahead and plug this into our problem. Okay, so we have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. a is 90, b is also 90, so we have 90 squared plus 90 squared is equal to c squared. Already 90 squared will give us a pretty large number here, probably 8,100. Yep, 8,100 plus 8,100 remember they're both 90, is equal to c squared. All right, so if we add these here together, we're going to get 1,600 and, I'm sorry, 16,200 will be equal to c squared. But again, we don't know, we don't want to know what c squared is equal to. We want to know what c is equal to. So we need to take the square root of both sides here, the square root of 16,200, and we are going to get that c is approximately 127.3. And that's after rounding there. All right, so that means that this distance here would be 127.3 feet. And that's the distance from home plate to second. All right, again, make sure you guys are getting this written down here. If you need to pause it, don't, be, don't hesitate to do so. All right, last example here, I believe. Yep, so the main mast of a fishing boat is supported by a sturdy rope that extends from the top of the mast to the desk. If the mast is 20 feet tall and the rope attaches to the deck 15 feet away from the base of the mast, how long is the rope? Alrighty, so again, it looks like a right triangle, right? We can already see that drawn in here. So we have two side lengths on this. Um, it doesn't matter which one you label them here, but I'm going to say A is equal to 20 and B is equal to 15. So going into plugging our formula or writing down our formula, again, as always, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Always got to start with that class. So right here it says a, we have a is equal to 20. So instead of a, I am going to write a 20. Instead of b, we have a 15. So instead of b, I'm going to replace it with a 15. And finally, that's equal to c squared. Alrighty, so 20 squared will give us 400. 15 squared, is that 225 again, I believe? Yes, it is, is equal to C squared. All right, so we've got to add these here together. So we're going to get a 625 is equal to C squared. And now we got to take the square root of both sides here. So 25 will be equal to C because the square root of 625 is equal to 25. I think we just did that one a little while ago. So that means that this distance right here would be a 25 feet. All right, guys, if you need to pause this, write this down. Again, you guys don't really need to be writing down the questions. Maybe I should have mentioned that. Maybe just draw the pictures and write down the, um, the words right here. But anyways, let's go on to our conclusion. So for conclusion, today we just learned about solving some real world Pythagorean problems. So don't, don't uh, forget, I want you guys to write two complete sentences about what you learned today. Maybe it could just be a certain um, way that you could use these um, Pythagorean theorems in real life. Um, but other than that, hope this helped you guys out, and I will see you all in class tomorrow. Peace out, everybody.